Hey everybody, IHDW here. So, uh, a little bit of explaining to do since I've been totally MIA for, uh, I think about almost a month now. A uh, lot of things have been happening in terms of my life. Uh, I've got a bunch of part-time jobs, a few other things here and there. Uh, I've also been working on the apparel, which uh, I sort of ended before and I've rebooted. Um, but to scratch all of that, I'm back making videos. I do plan on getting a bunch of new pets and sort of selling my old ones. Um, and today's video, as you can probably already tell by the title, is my return, as well as this um, little tree ops thingy, in which I bought, I think, at uh, freaking Michael's. So I'm going to explore this, and you can see there's my crested gecko. Oh my gosh, why did you do that? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That was a weird start to the video. Anyways, uh, let's let's get little, little Steven out of here. She was hiding in this little cup, which she uses as her cave, which is usually inside her tank. Um, so I just found her in the cup was like, let's bring her out. And obviously she wasn't too excited about being out. Um, so she felt a lot happier back inside her cage. Much more familiar, at least. There she goes. Okay. Anyways, back onto the video. So this, this box uh, thing from Discovery, who knows what that could be. Uh, these creepy little crab creatures, as you can see on the box, is what I'm about to grow. Kind of like a plant. Except it's not a plant, it's an animal. Oh. What the heck is it? This box is like a bag of chips, it's mostly air, what the heck. Um, so this is the product. Well, that's not the product, but this is the product. I hope this is in shot. Oh, this is totally in shot. I can't see, my camera setup is really weird. Um, boom. Boom. Uh, this is probably the instructions. What the frick kind of instructions is that? Jesus Christ. What? That's a stupidly large instructions if it is instructions. Um, I have that as the background. These, I don't know. The, I don't know what this is either. This looks like a really poorly printed out background. Are these the instructions? What the heck, a bag of sand. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so I guess I'll show you guys everything. This is a bag of sand. I spent freaking almost 40 bucks for a bag of sand. Awesome. Over here is the focus, the tree up eggs, which looks like a bunch of shredded wood. And food which looks like dried algae so delicious uh, this is what is this I think this is the instructions the frick what the heck is this giant background thing oh I think this is just a poster oh this is a poster oh, this has nothing to do with anything okay Oh, if I can read here, I have to prepare a flat surface to work on. Alright. It's pretty flat. Yeah, there you go, flat surface. Uh, next on the Toto list, uh, cover my work area with scrap paper, newspaper, paper top. Man, that's too much stuff. What the heck? So, I have to rinse the aquarium, and and I need bottled water. Oh shoot, what the heck, did I buy bottled water for this? Alright guys, so apparently spring water bottles uh, are necessary for these guys to grow, because you can't use tap water, and distilled water is kind of iffy, uh, and I don't have any, so... I'm going to save on foods. All right. Well, you know, it's like 11. Thank goodness. Uh, save on foods. 
is open till 12. So uh, I'm going on a little adventure here. God damn it, things I have to do to raise small dinosaur shrimp. All right, boys, here we is. I'll be right back and uh, we will continue on um, with the video. All right, I'm back and I got enough water bottles to freaking raise a village of, of freaking dinosaur shrimp, tree up things. So now we can actually get started. Uh, first step was rinsing the aquarium. So I'm gonna go wash this thing in the sink. And then home. Scrub a little bit. Get that nice hydration all in those crevices. Get it spick and spam for the shrimp. Alright. Alright, just gonna use an old t-shirt to dry this off because I don't want any chlorine in this thing. Because uh, apparently the baby tree ups are very sensitive to chemicals, which of course makes uh, a lot of sense. So let's make sure they don't die from these things. Cause that would be sad. It costed me a pretty penny. I wouldn't want it to just go down the drain. All right. I think it's like yeah, kind of pretty much right. All right. Boom. Boom. Uh, have that over there. What was I saying? Again? Rinse the aquarium. Dry it thoroughly. Uh, tape the background. I'm not gonna use the background honestly. So. Uh, for you of you who are wondering what the background is, is that piece of paper. Which I ain't gonna use. It just doesn't look good. Um, enter the entire sandbag at the bottom of the tank. Alright. First step. Bag of sand. I think this is dry, right? Yep. I uh, should have an opening here, I hope. Oh, this is a very formidable piece of plastic. Scissors. Do I have scissors in my room? I don't. Alright, fine. What, whatever. Uh, I, oh, it's actually... Sweet. I found this knife, which I bought from the night market. I'm gonna use that. Oh. And actually, the only reason I bought that knife was to cut open the cardboard boxes. And I guess now plastic. All right, that's in frame, right? Yeah, yeah there you go. All right, so here's that. Oh, it, it looks beautiful. Freaking plastic tub of sand. Um, next step is add 16 OZ bottle of water and let it sit for 24. Oh, it has to sit for 24 hours. Oh, okay. This is, um, I don't know what OZ is in milliliters, so I'm just going to dump water till like, it kind of fills up to a certain point. Whoop. By the way, this is spring water for those of you who didn't figure it out. Damn, dude, this tank, it looks, uh, beautiful. It's really weird that it doesn't have a lid. Is this 16 OZ? This is 16 OZ, right? I'm gonna Google this, man. Hold up, hold up, sway. Hold up, sway. Hold up, sway. Um, 16 OZ to milliliters. Oh, it's like 500. Oh, so that's oh, one water bottle. All right, sweet. Well, oh, that was easy. So yeah, that is the tank. Uh, I should try to distribute the sand evenly. Without dumping water everywhere. There you go. Boom. Now apparently, I have to wait for a full day. Bruh. Alright. 24 hours. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Is that necessary? I'm gonna Google that too. All right, so new plan of action, considering uh, I don't have to wait a full day until adding the, the eggs, but what I do need is the right temperature. So, uh, as of right here, 
you guys can see, if you guys seen me from the previous video, uh, this is actually uh, an incubator that I made way back when, when my geckos were having eggs. Um, and of course, they're, they're not having eggs at the moment, so like it's kind of no use. However, I found a new use. This uh, underneath here, if you can see right there, that is a heater and I am going to essentially heat up this water so that the temperature becomes warm and is just right in order to add the eggs for them to hatch because temperature is much more important than apparently the water quality, at least what I've read online. Um, I'm about to find out whether or not that's true. Uh, if you guys don't see any more of tree up videos from me, it's probably because they all died. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's hope for the best. Uh, right over there is the thermometer. Uh, of course, this is the tank with the sand and the heater and a bunch of green sponges from the dollar store around it. Uh, don't ask me why. Uh, and hopefully in like 10 minutes or so, I'll come back and then I will add the tree up eggs inside uh, the, the spring water. The warm, lukewarm spring water thing. And uh, if all goes well and the stars align, I will have babies in like two or three days. So uh, I'm going to chill for a bit and then come back to you guys when the water is warm. And of course, that is when I will add in the suckers. And uh, that will probably be how I end off the video. So I will be right, right back. All right, so the water is warmed up pretty well by now. Um, the temperature, I think, is roughly like freaking 75 um, degrees Fahrenheit. And now... Time to chuck in uh, the eggs. So let's figure out how, how the heck I open this. Uh, yeah. Damn it, I need scissors or something. Wait, didn't I have a knife here? Where the hell did I put it? Ah, whatever. I, I got a freaking nail clipper. I'm going to use a nail clipper. Um, so do that. Boom, boom, boom. And. Empty the packet in the lukewarm water, like so. Alright. Wow, none of those look like eggs. Sweet. Um, I think I have a little extra here. I'll just chuck that in as well. Alright. Done deal. That is all the eggs. Or, I think they're eggs? I couldn't tell you, they don't look like much. Apparently they're eggs. Okay. This looks like a bunch of wood chips, alright, whatever. So, that is pretty much the end of this video. I will get back to you guys, I guess in a few days, um, to see how everything goes. Hopefully it all goes well. And I will eventually have some tiny, ancient, prehistoric shrimp things swimming around in this uh, small container of water. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, more videos on the way, and hopefully much more consistent nowadays. Uh, for those of you who are interested in what has been conspiring in IHTW Labs, I'll let you check that out. I now have pretty much rebranded my whole channel. If you guys notice, my logo has changed and my YouTube banner. And I have a bunch of new apparel, which I have now made, made official. I even have a website and everything is up. I will have all the links below if you guys want to check it out. Um, I'll have a full video explaining uh, my whole brand and uh, the meaning and purpose behind everything uh, very soon. But for now, you guys can see I have been working on quite a bit for y'all. So I'm going to just play probably a little sneak peek, a uh, little video trailer of, uh, of a little something special. Let me, let me snap a little louder. Ah.
yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. Lots more to come. Uh, and as always, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>